If you're new to cruising and planning your first cruise, you may not have given too much thought to your last day on board and how you're going to be getting off the ship. But it's something you need to know about, and lucky you, I'm here to tell you about it. I'm Jeff. This is Backroads Tourist. So here's the deal. You've had a wonderful time on your cruise. You've been on wonderful excursions. You've seen terrific shows. You've eaten more than you should, but you don't care because you know in your heart of hearts that cruise calories don't count. But all good things must come to an end, and the party's over. It's time to leave the ship. But if you think you're just going to grab your bags and walk off the ship, I have some news for you. It probably doesn't work that way. It's a little bit more complicated. Your ship may be home to anywhere from a few hundred to nearly 8,000 passengers, and there needs to be a coordinated system for getting so many people ashore in an orderly fashion. I'm going to tell you about how Princess Cruise Lines does it, and I would bet that most other cruise lines have a very similar process. A few days before the end of your cruise, you're going to get a form delivered to your cabin asking you what time you'd like to disembark. If you have an earlier flight home that day, you'll want to pick an earlier time slot to give you enough time to get off the ship, get your luggage, get to the airport in time for your flight. If your flight doesn't leave until later on, you can reserve a later time slot. That's going to give you a chance to go to the buffet and have some breakfast. Leave the filled out form on your bed or on your desk and your room steward's going to pick it up. There's no need to take it down to guest services or anything like that. Then a day or two before the end of your cruise, you'll come back to your cabin and find this. Ugh, the dreaded disembarkation sheet and your luggage tags. The disembarkation sheet is going to walk you through the process of leaving the ship. You'll notice that your luggage tags have a certain color and a number on them. In our case, it was green number one. This is important for a couple of reasons. Check your sheet. It's going to tell you where to go to leave the ship on your final day and what time to be there. It's usually going to be in a public place like the theater, a lounge, or a restaurant. The number and color tag serves another purpose, and I'll explain that in just a minute. But before I do that, I'd like to ask you to please give this video a like if you're finding this information helpful, and consider subscribing to this channel if you want more cruise tips and tricks, or if you want to come with me as I explore some amazing places all across the United States. This is a fun and interesting channel, and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Now back to the disembarkation process. On your final night, you're going to be asked to put your suitcases outside your cabin door. When you're packing, make sure you don't pack away things you're going to be needing the next morning, like a change of clothes, any medications, your passport, travel documents. You get the idea. You can put all of these in your carry-on when you leave your stateroom the next morning, along with the dirty clothes you wore the day before. Once you make sure those colored and numbered tags are on your bags, put it outside your door and let the army of staff do their thing. They'll gather your luggage and take it down to a holding area to be offloaded the next morning. Now, here's something to consider. The hallways on your ship are probably already pretty narrow. And with everyone putting their luggage out, it's going to be an even tighter squeeze that night. So just roll with it. We're all on the same boat, literally. On the morning of your disembarkation, look to your sheet again and see where you're supposed to go and what time you're supposed to be there. If you're not leaving the ship until later, head on up to the buffet and grab a nice breakfast to start the day. When you get to your gathering area, look for a sign that has your color and your number. If you don't see it right away, there's going to be plenty of helpful staff members that you can ask. They're going to point you in the right direction. Now all you have to do is have a seat and listen up. 
When your group is called, in our case, Green Number One, you're gonna follow a crew member down the gangway and off the ship into the cruise terminal. Once you're in the cruise terminal, you're gonna find yourself in a huge room filled with luggage. This is the second time you're gonna wanna remember your color and your number. Look for a sign that has your color and your number on it, and you'll know that your bags are gonna be in this area. Now, you may have to look around a little bit. If you have two or more bags, they may not be together. In fact, I don't think I've ever had my two suitcases next to one another. If you're having trouble finding your bags, there are usually plenty of people there that can help you out, so don't worry. After you get your luggage, you're gonna head through security and customs, and that process varies from port to port. Sometimes you'll have to show your passport or government ID. Other times there's a facial recognition device. It's usually pretty simple and it's pretty fast. Now here's something that trips up a lot of people. Remember how you put a lot of stuff in your carry-on the night before? Well, does any of that stuff need to be transferred to your luggage before the flight home? If you have any shampoos, liquids, hairspray, or maybe a cool pocket knife that you picked up in one of the ports, you'll want to remember to put all of that stuff in your suitcase before you go through security at the airport. And while you're at it, put in those dirty clothes you wore the night before. I do want to let you know about one other option on your final day. You can keep your luggage in your room and take it off the ship yourself without having to put it out the night before and then look for it in the terminal the next morning. This option may go by the name self-assist or self-disembarkation. You have to mark this option on that sheet you get in your cabin a few days before the end of your cruise. If you have an early flight or just need to get off the ship right away or you just wanna keep your luggage with you, you can do this. But remember, you're gonna be dragging your luggage through the narrow hallways, in the elevators, and all the way through the cruise terminal. And the key word here is you. You need to be able to handle all of your luggage all by yourself. Remember, different cruise lines may do things a little bit differently, but overall, I think this is pretty much what you can expect on your final day as you end your cruise and head back home. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. I'm Jeff, and I'll see you on the back roads or on a future cruise.